हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम वंस अगेन डीडी क्लासरूम टुडे आवर सब्जेक्ट इज मैथमेटिक्स लेसन नंबर वन टॉपिक इज बेसिक कंसेप्ट्स इन ज्योमेट्री स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट बेसिक कंसेप्ट्स इन ज्योमेट्री लेट्स डिस्कस सी द पिक्चर complete the rangoli i hope you finish the rangoli then have a class discussion with the help of the following questions question 1 what kind of surface do you need for making a rangoli and the answer is we need plain surface to make a rangoli question number second how do you start making a rangoli answer is we start a rangoli basically by putting dots question number 3 what did you do in order to complete the rangoli the answer is we join the dots as per our requirement question number 4 name the different shapes you see in the rangoli the answer is we can see square rectangle triangle shapes in the rangoli given question number 5 would it be possible to make a rangoli on a scooter or on a, an elephant's back answer is it won't be possible to draw rangoli on a scooter or elephant's back as they have a slope the question number 6 is when making a rangoli on a paper what do you use to make the dots answer is we use white rangoli powder made of white stone one can use white chalk pencil or even a piece of charcoal let's learn points a point is shown by a teeny dot we can use a pen or a sharp pencil to make the dot the dots in the rangoli are the symbols for points see the picture a point can be given a name capital letters of the alphabet are used to name a point the points p a and t are shown in the figure alongside line segments and lines see the picture take two points a and b on a sheet of paper and join them using a ruler we get the straight line ab can we extend this line further on the side of point b on the side of point a how far can we extend it we can extend the line in both directions till the edges of the paper if the paper is very big the line can be very long too how long would the line be on a playing field now see this picture let's imagine that we can extend this line forever 
without any limits on both sides. To show this extended line on paper, we use arrow heads at both the ends of the line. In mathematics, when we say line, we mean straight line. The first line that we drew was only from point A to point B. It was a piece or a segment of the longer line. A line segment has two points showing its limits. They are called endpoints. We write line segment AB as a seg AB in short. A and B are its endpoints. A line is named using a small letter or by using any two points on the line. Line L has been shown alongside. Its name can also be written as a line PQ or line QP. Rays. See the picture. Look at these pictures. What do you see? Rays starting from the sun go forward in all directions. See this next picture? Light rays from the torch also start from a point and go forward continuously in a one direction. See this picture? A ray is a part of a line. It starts at one point and goes forward continuously in the same direction. The starting point of ray is called its origin. Here P is the origin. An arrowhead is drawn to show that the ray is infinite in the direction of Q. The figure can be read as ray PQ. The ray PQ is not read as a ray QP. Try this activity. See the picture. Activity is that look at the pictures on the screen in your notebook Take a point P as a shown in the picture. Draw lines passing through point P using scale. How many such lines can be drawn? An infinite number of lines can be drawn through one point, which is shown in picture. When two or more lines pass through the same point, they are called concurrent lines. The common point through which they pass is called their point of concurrence. In the figure alongside, which is the point of concurrence, name it. And the answer is, in the given picture, point P is the point of concurrence. Can you tell? See this picture? There are nine points in this figure. Name them if you choose any two points. How many lines can pass through the pair? One and only one line can be drawn through any two distinct points. Which three or more of these nine points lie on a straight line? Three or more points which lie on a single straight line are said to be collinear points. 
of these nine points name any three or more points which do not lie on the same line points which do not lie on the same line are called non collinear points let's learn planes see the pictures look at the pictures what kind of surfaces do you see the surfaces in the first two pictures are flat each flat surface is a part of an infinite surface in mathematics a flat surface is called a plane see this picture the name of the plane in the picture is h even though we draw a suitably small figure of the plane it actually extends infinitely on all sides a flat surface is called a plane arrow are drawn to show that the plane extends infinitely in all directions however these arrows are often omitted for the sake of convenience parallel lines see the picture look at this page from a notebook is this page a part of a plane if we extend the lines that run sideways on the page will they meet each other other somewhere now i know lines which lie in the same plane but do not intersect are said to be parallel to each other write the proper term intersecting lines or parallel lines in each of the empty boxes see the picture in this both the line meets to each other so it's called intersecting lines see next picture in that both the line go straight they do not meet to each other so it's called parallel lines see the third image in this image both the line will meet each other at somewhere point so it's called intersecting lines see this picture observe the picture of the game being played identify the collinear players non collinear players parallel lines and the plane the players who are in sitting position are collinear the players who are running are non collinear lines drawn beside each sitting player are parallel to each other the playground mark for a playing the game kho kho is a plane let's do the practice question number 1 look at the figure alongside and name the following see the picture a collinear points are point m o t and point r o n b rays are ray o p ray o s ray o n ray o r c line segments are segment m t seg r n d lines are line r n line m t second observe the figure below name the parallel line the concurrent lines and the point of concurrence in the figure see the image a parallel lines are line b line m and line q are parallel to each other line a and line p are also parallel to each other b concurrent lines are 
line A, line B and line C and line AD are concurrent lines. Line P, line Q, line AD are also concurrent lines. C, point of concurrence are line A, line B, line C and line AD are concurrent at point A and line P, line Q and line AD are concurrent at point B. Third, write the different names of the lines. See the image and the answer is line AB, line BC, line CD, line DE, line AD, line C extra. Four, match the following. See the table, we having the group A and group, group B. So let's do first and the answer is line first image. Second image, answer is line segment. Third, plane. Fourth, ray. I hope you like our today's video. If you have any query, please comment or DM to Instagram. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe our channel.